If you've been wishing for more info on Marvel's Midnight Suns, I've got you. In this RPG from the tactical geniuses at Firaxis Games, you play as the Hunter, the first customizable original hero in a Marvel game. Lead Blade, Magic, Ghost Rider, Nico Minoru, and more in a fight against Lilith, Mother of Demons, plus the Elder God Cthon, with revolutionary card-based tactics featured in this all-new gameplay trailer. Coming to the stage, I'd like to welcome creative director at Firaxis Games, Jake Solomon, and senior franchise producer, Garth DeAngelis, here to tell us more about Marvel's Midnight Sun. I want to jump right into it. I mean, like, you know, looking at Marvel's Midnight Suns, it is a different take for Marvel, right? It is darker. I'm somebody who, when it comes to the Marvel, Marvel products, I often watch the stuff that is, you know, bright, shiny. I'm watching Spider-Man swing around New York City on a really sunny day. Yeah. But when I look at Marvel's Midnight Suns, I'm like, oh man, there's no sun out right now. You know, it's nighttime out here. And they're all wearing black and yellow. They're all, they're all really fresh. What can you tell me about Marvel's Midnight Suns for people who don't know? So it is a tactics RPG in the Marvel Universe, but it's set in the darker side of the Marvel Universe, the supernatural, the, the spooky side. Um, and so it, it's new for us because it's a tactics game, but it's also an RPG. And so when you think of, if you love Marvel heroes, which, you know, you're here at D23, I have no doubt you do, there's two powerful fantasies. One of which, of course, is seeing these heroes in combat using all their abilities, fighting alongside them. And we do have that with our tactics battles. But there is an equally powerful fantasy for all of us, and that's seeing the heroes outside of combat. So there's great movie, uh, moments in, in comics and movies where you see these heroes outside of battle, interacting with each other, sometimes friendly, sometimes not. And so that's a very big part of Midnight Suns is you're interacting with the heroes outside of combat. You are um, interacting with them, building relationships, seeing them interact with each other. And so that's the RPG aspect, which I think is exciting for people to try for the first time. Amazing. Now, when I think of Firaxis, I think, you know, there are certain types of games that come to mind, right? That strategy, tactical, I'm picking my move, I'm like looking at the percentages, see, seeing what's gonna hit. What can you tell me, as far as somebody who's not played one of your games before, uh, why, is, is Midnight Suns one that I can jump into and have a good time with? This was a big goal for the the team when we started out to, we are lifelong tactics fans, we yep. develop a lot of tactics games. We wanted a combat system that was much more streamlined, it was much more pick up and play. There's no grid in this system. So you really can just dive in, really start playing. And you know, we're talking a lot about the RPG and the combat, but bringing the Disney fans, the Marvel fans into the world too, we have a really special feature that for me, it's sort of a lifelong dream that you can now be your own superhero, your own customized superhero as the hunter mm. that you get to create. You can choose how they look. You can also choose their personality and you're making decisions continually of how you want to interact with these legends that we know and love in Captain America and Spidey and Iron Man and Blade. Um, so to be able to be an avatar, I think that's such a, a unique staple in the video game industry for RPGs, and we're allowing you to do that now. You can step yeah. in the shoes of a new Put hero. Put yourself in the center of the story, in, the, in, in between all these heroes, yeah. yeah. And yeah, that's, and again, for, for people, um, I think this is new for us in the sense that we have this big epic scope story as well, a full Marvel story, which we partner with Marvel for. And so yeah, there's just a lot of things that are, that are new and, and exciting for us. And again, you know, I'm hanging out with Wolverine, Spider-Man, Iron Man, right? I, I, Scarlet Witch, a dope cast of characters. Can you tell me how I'm gonna be able to interact with these characters in game? Yeah. 
Yeah, there is, I mean, there's an enormous amount of, of, of interaction you can do in the game. There's so much customization, yep. right? The black and gold, you know, if you have a new superhero team, you have to have, have a uniform. Right? Yeah, they and gotta we, have like a, you yeah. gotta earn them, but yeah. You gotta earn them, we do have to earn them. It's, it's sort of a later game thing, but we partnered with the Marvel Games team to come up with that look and have an enormous amount of, of, of interaction. And there's a huge roster of who you can interact with in the game as well too. We're really gonna be elevating, you know, there's the known legends that we talked about, but we're gonna be elevating a lot of other heroes too that really are the titular uh, Midnight Suns. That's right. Yeah, we have the cast of characters people are gonna know and love. You've got your Iron Man, Spider-Man, Captain Marvel, Captain America, but then you also have characters, and this is what's exciting about making a game in the supernatural side of the Marvel Universe, is we get to pull those known characters down into the darkness and we get to elevate characters that people may not know as well, like Ghost Rider, Blade, who doesn't know Blade? Everyone knows Blade. Oh, yeah. um, but Magic, Nico characters like that. Amazing, amazing. And, and Jake, as a lifelong fan of the 90s comic run too, to be able to tap into that well of Marvel. Marvel is a treasure trove of ideas that, that are just waiting to really come to the forefront and, and, and bring them to everyone that hasn't experienced them yet. You were really, you were really inspired by by that '90s run of the Midnight Suns. Yeah, it was my my favorite comic. Um, it was early '90s. It was a Ghost Rider comic event. It's what inspired this. It was called Rise of the Midnight Suns. It was, you know, it was, uh -oh, yeah. There we yeah. go. We got yes. Somebody yes. likes the Midnight Suns out there. Anybody there are else read seven it? of us in the world. <laughs> <laughs> we need to all take a picture after this. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it was very like hair metal, early 90s, like every time you turn the page, it'd be like a guitar riff. It was awesome. Yeah, it was yeah. just the coolest comic. And so we were obviously very inspired. When we uh, partnered with Marvel a few years ago to make this game, there was no doubt. We were like, we, we want to be in the supernatural side of Marvel. We want to make Midnight Suns. Amazing, amazing. Now, you mentioned the word RPG, and I am an RPG person. I like me a good RPG. And for me, when I think of RPG, I think of choices. Are there ways in which choices affect the way that I play the game? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we are so excited about this. The team at Firaxis, um, if you haven't played Firaxis games, blessing, we're all about choices. We're all about a series of interesting decisions. That's, that's what it comes down to. Everything from combat, we have such an extensive roster. You can customize your squad, who you want to run with, hundreds of abilities. And then when you take a step back from combat, you can take a world tour of Marvel. Which missions do I want to go on and which resources do I get from them? You can go to these awesome locations in the Marvel world, battle on top of Avengers Tower, uh, retake Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorum from the clutches of the demonic forces. You even are gonna travel to the peaks of Mount Wondegore. Right. Um, and, and you know, those resources that you get from those missions, being an RPG, and also sort of our, our pedigree with base building, um, you get to customize and tailor your own headquarters. Every good superhero has their own headquarters, which is the Abbey, um, in Salem, Massachusetts, a pocket dimension, and you can do a ton yeah, there. Yeah, and that's a new headquarters we designed with Marvel again, because yeah, you're right, every superhero team needs a superhero base. So we made a, a spooky base uh, in a pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. And now, we've talked a lot about the heroes. I want to talk about the villain. All right, what is Lilith bringing to the table? Because right now on my squad, I got Wolverine, I got Spider-Man, I got Blade, I got Scarlet Witch. What is Lilith bringing to the table that's making her a villain here? Yeah, so Lilith, again, this is exciting for us because Lilith, um, you know, there's one person back there read the original Midnight Sun, so they know what Lilith's all about. But um, for us, it's exciting to introduce a character like Lilith to more people. Um, so she's the mother of demons. And in our story, um, Hydra, uh, has found her tomb and resurrected her after a century of long sleep. And this is typical Hydra. They use dark magic, a little science, and then they you know, resurrect an ultimate evil. Um, and so Lilith, she's very powerful. She's as powerful as any apocalyptic supervillain you can imagine in the Marvel Universe. She gets stronger every day. She's got this army of hellish demons that all the heroes are gonna have to fight through. But what really makes her powerful is that Lilith can corrupt anyone with a single touch. So it doesn't matter how powerful they are, with one touch, she can corrupt them, heroes, villains, uh, to make them serve her you know, mind, so she, body, She can get soul. a Hulk if she wanted to. She does get a Hulk. Oh, okay. So yes, and she is going to corrupt villains from the Marvel Universe, anti-heroes like Venom, even heroes, very, very, very powerful heroes like Scarlet Witch, and yes, a Hulk. So the player will have to fight through a corrupted uh, demonic Hulk, if he wasn't bad enough already. So. Amazing, this is gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see those. And of course, thank you guys so much for joining me. I can't wait to dive into the game on December 2nd. Thank Looks you, awesome. thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna be dope.
Be sure to follow at Marvel Games and the Midnight Sun social channels for more information.